Welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Unknown Classic Marathon Edition. And considering we have precisely one dollar to our name to save the planet with, I'm still feeling pretty good about stuff. Namely because if you will note global panic levels. Oh not bad. India Yeah. Our Indian trains are fine, which is really what the desperate fight was about last time. So all the news headlines are about XCOM saving the day. Yep. We've already sorted the stuff out. We've already spent our cash on stuff. And stuff is good. A special note will be given to our squad site sniper, Mr. Suleiman. I'm almost sure that's Egypt. That's the Egyptian flag. Probably got it wrong and everyone is laughing at me, but uh, this guy is lucky. I just... This is just a lucky guy. He was one turn away from just dying last mission. He spent as much time in sick bay as on missions, unfortunately. But even with that, he's just a lucky dude. And I got myself a good feeling about this. But we've already sorted everything out, so it's time to scan for activity, everybody. And here come Commander, the aliens. We're tracking several reported abductions via the hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. A sniper sergeant. That's not nothing. That's definitely not nothing. Now this is in Europe. It's difficult though, which um not fun. Engineers are fun though. Engineers are real fun. And we have no option for scientists. Although, I gotta say, the $200, we don't necessarily need it. I wouldn't say no to $200 either. And the thing is, this will reduce panic in Mexico, and it'll keep panic stable here. Because otherwise, we might be in danger of losing country. These places and this place can both kind of chill for now. They're, o they're gonna be okay. Whereas, yeah, I think we're going to Mexico for this one. We're going to North America. Call out the guard. What we have of experienced soldiers. Okay. Uh, difficult mission. So... Just... Grab a rookie, I guess. <laughs> Anyone from... Let's see, we got a Merc in here. Ooh, we have a Canadian, too. Nah. Anyone from the Commonwealth will do. Also an Egyptian. Okay. We have the one med kit, which is already panning out pretty well, gotta say. We have a med kit and just a bunch of frag grenades, and we'll just do our best to uh, kill them, everybody. So, good luck to us. This is Marathon, so we're in it for the long haul. Prepare for deployment, strike one. More money really wouldn't hurt, if we're honest. We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. Final blade. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Sure should. We're back to business as usual, which after the last two missions, honestly, I'm, I'm okay with that. This is Big Sky. Strike team has reached the AO. Requesting authorization to deploy. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. Why does this map look familiar? Alright. Now the thing is, in any map where you have big building in the middle, which dominate, like this thing predominates, there's almost no doubt the action's gonna be taking place there. Not to mention, look at this. Look at these cars. Half cover. Freaking half cover till you get to the truck. And the pod, which by the way is likely to have aliens all on its own. You know, this ain't a terribly big map, seems to be. 
is let's have a look. Oh, there's some space back there. Hmm. It will be good to... You know, I could almost swear that I had a Terra mission in a place like this at some point. Um, glancing around in the darkness isn't very entertaining, but uh, I would like to not die in this situation. So, uh, one option... We don't have a squad site sniper, so we couldn't just stick someone back here and let them shoot. Although that that is a lot of fun. Uh, Christ. Uh, if we attempt to move up the parking lot, I'd almost guarantee an engagement. I think we should try to get into the building because the close quarters combat will benefit us. Also, I think we should also do the advancing cautiously thing. Because every little bit of ground we can gain before we make contact is to our benefit to the detriment of the alien hordes. Yeah. See that sprinter bonus. And our assault can't honestly keep up. And as long as you stay in the footsteps of those who came before you, I'm basically following tactics adopted much more by Beagle Rush because he's the one who helped inspire me to do this. Well, we are on classic difficulty, so every bit. Okay, we're confirming sectoids. We can probably guess that there's gonna be the Thin Men too. Don't see anybody, don't see anybody. Okay, every bit. Okay, if we can make it to the building, if we can make it inside here, without getting spotted, then we've got nice solid cover all the way down. Hell, we could even send a team like, we could sweep the entire outside of this building, because the way I'm looking at it, there's no... Because if you look, look, the edge of the map it is there's right here, there's hard cover here, there's no windows, so we could go around or just through the building. Uh, the only thing is through the building is very likely to trigger all the aliens, so I'm hoping not to do that. Just keep everybody together. Yep, yep. I'll keep him on his pistol, because it's a little more likely that he'll do stuff. And just everyone overwatches. Every every turn we don't make contact is an advantage. Because now we can stack up on the door itself. Nothing. Okay, there's probably nothing in that first room where or actually they're probably like literally right there. That's fine. That's fine. I don't mind that at all. Stack up. Now see, they could be right there too, but they're not. Just stack it up, everybody. Okay, now the shotgun comes out. Because there may actually be wandering patrols in this one. Maybe. Okay. We can see the back wall. There's a door out there. That's not bad. Can open that and I think once you open a door you can't close it but we're just gonna we didn't have the luxury of time in the last mission and the one before that we had the luxury of too much time so there's they're something in there. out there yeah we can hear them we don't know where but we can hear them oh Rick, let's head in there Oh, smooth. Heh <laughs> Well, if they hear us and come to investigate us and find us, that only works to our advantage, too. So, hey. We follow the path. I'm... If there's no aliens in here, I'll be legitimately shocked. 
They're probably back there. Uh, good hardcover. Tons of good hardcover. Not to mention decent flanking options out here, although I'd be kind of leery of doing that. Also, I'm probably just gonna pepper them with explosives as hallways and be really cheesy about it. Uh, we're gonna capture enough weapon fragments and stuff, cause, cause I foolishly picked Marathon without really knowing what I was getting into. Hunt them down. Oh, son of a! Ah, uh, hot cheese. All we can hope is we don't fucking need run and gun. There. You hear that? Yeah, I hear. Him. Fucking, <laughs> they're attacking the Cracker Barrel. Bastard aliens. Now, if I really want to be cheesy, I'd literally just sit here. Okay, Ricky, go over there. Right there. Yep. Right fucking there. Okay. Okay, rookie. Tell you. I wonder. I don't think this is gonna work, but we might be able to fuck these guys over. This will definitely kill one of them. Oh, nice. Nice. You know, especially if I can kill two of them for one, I will always do that. Now we stack up following the path the rookie blazed. Which makes making contact unlikely. And the assault will be here just just ready. Overwatch three, three, two. Yeah. Now the cover might end up being useful. Also the building is on fire, although roofs can't collapse, it's only the walls I think? Whatever. Okay that was cool. And I'll just take cool stuff when I can find it. turn we can avoid contact is a good turn. Just wait until the aliens get grenades, then we'll get then we'll get ours back. <laughs> In terms of karma. Hmm. You hear that? I think that indicates they're either far away or really close. Also, moving at this slow pace has allowed us to recharge our run and gun. That's good. Okay, Rookie doesn't have a grenade anymore, so, uh. In terms of who's getting point, we'll go. our. Let's go the heavy next. Here they come. There they are. Yeah. Hi, Sectoids. I don't think we can fuck them over so easily. Well, let's check. Okay, we have the range to fuck him over. Now the thing is, like... I know that it's bad to... to spam grenades like that, but... It's worse to just let him fuck us over. Now he can't move to a position to flank us this turn, I think. I hope. I pray. Okay, so we can do that. Or, oh, he's already uh, fired. Because that leaves one sectoid open. So we could do. It's possible there's more in here. In fact, I would rate the chances of them being more as likely. But we can kill one of them here. 
Guaranteed. Going out. Also, that may have fucked over the car. Actually, I don't think so. And environmental damage is cool, so hey. If he tries to come around, we'll reaction fire him there. If he tries to move straight up, we'll reaction fire him that way. And just in general, we'll be ready. We'll try to be ready for his bullshit if he comes up. I don't want to move there because there's probably a third group like right there who, according to the game, are just now sitting on their asses but could become a threat. I might even. Now we'll save the smoke grenade. I'm... See, I used to have a problem where I wouldn't use my resources, so now I'm kind of making myself use them a lot. We'll just move him up to here, set him to Overwatch 2. See what he... Oh, fuck. Really? Piece of shit. Oh, nice. Damn it, panic. Okay, he could have shot, but he didn't. Makes us lucky. Um... thing is, if there's aliens over there... Actually... Tell you what, rookie... If he'd have been on Overwatch, I'd be angry. <laughs> Alright, kill him. Alright. Nice. Because she didn't have a grenade, so if we discovered more aliens that turn, I wanted the ability to react. She's the only one who's actually fired at this point. Okay. So we can move up a little bit, but overall we're going to remain cautious. Ah, uh, so far... That's like four aliens dead. And handle pretty handily too, gotta say. Just gotta watch the building collapsing all over us. Oh, there they are. Enemy Aliens. How'd they see us? That's kinda glitchy. That's kinda shit. Let's see. Oh, is the building collapsing? There's something out there. The building must have collapsed at some point and given them line of sight. You can't see it. But we'll assume it happened. Yeah, the building is kind of burning down, although in the time frame we're operating on, I'm not that worried. However, we have made contact. That means it's time to take up positions. Rookie, just in case that collapses next turn or something, reposition yourself. Take cover in the produce. Because, hey. Anything that doesn't particularly look like it's going to collapse this turn. Get over there and get ready. Open fire. Oh, fuck me, really? Now, see, this is hubris. This is what hubris gets you. Now he's they're probably not gonna be able to get in on us this turn. Probably not gonna be able to get a flank shot this turn. But even so, we're in for a fight, everybody. So uh get into Overwatch. Get ready. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll run into our reaction fire. Otherwise they might hunker down. Shh. You hear that? Or they'll just come over there. Hmm. Interesting. Now, of course, since he did that, 
Heavy doesn't have a shot at the moment. We could blow up more of that wall, but I kind of don't want to. The fires are out. Let's see. We're in a bit of a shitty angle. Um. Okay, here's the. I guess here's the plan, team. Let's cover the smoke grenade. Let's think about this. Or we could use it to cover him going wide. Because the thing is, I want it to cover him when he's going to run out and take reaction fire. So let's try this. Fucking Country Bear Jamboree XCOM here. Also, he gets the benefit of the smoke. So does he, that's not bad. Okay. Um, can't use items after run and gun, which is the unfortunate bit. Uh, that's not a bad place to post him. He's probably gonna take reaction fire before he gets there. Uh, let's put him there. Yeah, here he is. Okay, we've given him a... Reaction fires take a penalty. And he's been smoked. So it wasn't as bad of a decision as it may appear. Now see, that cover is going to start evaporating, but we should be fine from that angle, anyhow. And now we can use the frag grenade, which will also deny other people trying to advance on us this particular bit of cover. Going out. Alright, and assuming our assault survives, which we're going to try and do that, we will now have the advantage. Move our heavy up on this side in case they decide to go that way. It's possible. As for you, let me think of a useful place for you. Well, we could just post the rookie up here. Yeah, she's still in the smoke. So if they shoot at her, she's got full cover plus the smoke. There they are. They're managing to avoid our overwatch shots. They're not doing such a good job of <laughs> evading our explosives though. Uh, okay, is he the only guy who can see him? Now the thing is, I don't think we saw him go into overwatch. But I don't feel like risking the reaction fire, honestly. I just don't feel like it. We're going to blast him, and try not to blast things that we would like to have. The most important thing has to be him, though. Um, Alright, that'll get him. Do it. Damn it. Well, he didn't blow himself up. That's a lot of fire, though. Hmm. This building may be begin to become... Oh! Oh! I sense a risky move that I could do. I sense a really fucking risky move. Like, it's so risky, I don't even want know if I want to do it. Now, the problem is, this will also be moving them through fire. Um... Oh, jeez. Did blow him to half cover. Uh, we just kind of have to pray we don't discover more fucking aliens, which we probably will. But... Spread and spray. 
Okay. Don't see more. Now, kill the melder. Dead and gone. Oh, I'm a dumbass. I got mixed up which one was the melder and which one wasn't. Um, so he's in trouble. Because I'm a dumbass. Uh, fuck. Well, he's already got a flank shot on him, so let's try to kill this guy. Come on. No, no, no. Shot wide. This ain't how it's supposed to... Okay, rookie. Come on. Come on, rookie. Yes! Out of the game. Okay, so... Despite my own genius play, we're gonna be just fine, everybody. Uh, let's group everyone up again, and then, I guess, get ready to move on to the next building? Yeah. This building has served us well in terms of good hardcover, but I get the feeling there's gonna be bad guys in here, so... Or they could be, like, right... Well, they could be anywhere, let's be honest, but let's try not to pick a fight on this turn. Let's just get everyone together. We'll go in that direction. And reload. Rookie is fucking four kills so far from what I can... Okay, there's fire all throughout there. Um, now, typically fire is not a problem, but we have just... We've blown this place to absolute hell. The thing that gets me is, would he, like, path to avoid the fire? I think he would. There we go. No problem for us. Maybe he hasn't shot yet. So yeah, everybody just group up and get ready. We're moving on to the next building. Locked and loaded. Everybody reload. Ready to engage. There's something out there. Oh hey! Was he already triggered? Yes. No. Oh. This is why keeping count of your number of aliens is a good idea, everybody. Uh, <laughs> okay, who's not already earned themselves a promotion next time? Okay, these two. Don't see more. Okay. There we go. Hostiles Another day. By. Another successful operation. Oh, an exciting and sh and brief mission where we all win. Oh, see, creeping up to the building really helped us there. Because if we'd had to fight all those guys from their hard cover and we were trying to move along the parking lot, we would have triggered multiple groups really easily, and uh, things just wouldn't have gone so well. Also, we're liberally using our explosives. That's good. Our soldiers have to be feeling good after a mission like that. Here's hoping we're gonna get started on that officer training school immediately, too, with the money we just got. And our first sergeant, Blitz. Lightning reflexes. See, that is just nice. Now we don't have to rely on explosives like a crutch as much. It's still nice though. Now, 
Close and personal is good if you're pure offense, but I like lightning reflexes a ton. It's one of those, it's a game changer, honestly. The assault class really starts to get into their own, and you know what? I'll take another heavy. I will fucking, there's no doubt. Congratulations are in order, squaddy. We get eight corpses and eight weapon fragments. Mexico has calmed down, and then we're going to launch a satellite in North America. Yeah. We will be in let's touch, see. Commander. Let's see the situation. Unless it's drastically different than what I think it is. Hmm. Now Russia's at four. We're gonna launch over Russia. Cause let's see, what is Russia offering us? <sighs> Russia's a big donor too, yeah. Russia's more panicked. So we're gonna get them when we can, which is satellite in three days. That'll be something to look forward to. We could start on another satellite, but at this point, eh. I'd rather start on officer training school. We need 50 bucks, which I believe we can scrounge to just get that. Officer training school is another one of those things you just kind of want to rush. Uh, let's count finances. We're still not paying for the third interceptor. Also, we'll need to move that interceptor to uh, Europe. <sighs> I would love for some requests, some opportunities to sell stuff. Don't want to sell weapon fragments because those are hard to come by, and my explosives heavy strategy tends to deny us these things. But see, sectoid corpses and uh, weapon fragments don't go for much either, so we need to scrounge up. Negative. That equipment should be passed on directly to the research team. I understand where you're coming from, man, but. I want that officer training school. I want it bad. Now we'll need to do more money scrounging too, of course. If we don't address the lack of available scientists in the lab soon, we run the risk of falling behind on our research. I'm on it, Doctor. And my question is, if you cancel something, do you get back what you invested in it? Because we no longer... Well, let's think. Build facilities. No, we still don't have the engineers for it. Like, officer training school will go down here. There's no adjacency bonus on officer training school. So, the unique buildings are going to be built, like, down this way, which will block out a steam vent, but I'm an idiot like that. Adjacency bonus, these will be the satellite uplinks, because adjacency bonus is a. You, you have to leverage them, they're so good. Okay, officer training school. Just... That's really good too. So get building. Build for a future. Build for humanity. I mean, more engineers are always... Because they decrease the cost of things like satellites. I think we're gonna be okay though, everybody. Suleiman. Wonder if he'll be back for the terror mission. Here's hoping. Uh, let's check. One mission, four kills. Okay, that's 
That's pretty nice work. Three missions and six kills. Four missions, three kills. You know what, but the support is directly responsible for saving the ass of the rest of the squad. There have been multiple instances now where the smoke grenade has saved somebody from reaction fire. Not to mention, of course, hauling ass and healing somebody and restoring somebody from crits so they don't just die. And four missions, ten kills. The assault class is just... It looks like he's leading us in total number of kills. So that's good, because let's see, who was the rookie who tagged along already? Jack Evans. Might give him another shot. I don't know if total number of missions factors into uh, promotion chances or something. Also note, all the rookies have the exact same stats. Don't know how to feel about that. His HP is still 1 of 5. Oof. Poor guy. Um, I'm feeling really good after that, so I'm just inclined to end the session here, everybody. Although, let's keep going until the next mission, I think. If we can make it to the end of the month in the council report, that'll be really cool. Too. I'm feeling really good. Now, I'm sure we'll get that corrected for us at some point. Okay, now we actually do need to send the interceptor. We need to redeploy. From here, you can Transfer arrange to have our interceptors transferred to bases throughout the world. By stationing our fleet on various continents, we'll have a much better chance of intercepting new UFO contacts in those areas. Very true. And yes, it does actually stop me from going to a new area before people are done talking. There we go. First research project. Finally done. Now I will want the scope when we have our sniper back. Scopes aren't bad for anyone, but the way I've been using grenades... Uh, the important thing though is now we're on the path to beam weapons, which is... Now this number looks frightening, and it kind of is. But um... What do we need for xenobiology that we don't have? Sectoid corpses. Alright, so we need to keep four. That's something to keep in mind. We won't be getting to these for a while yet. Now, we're gonna get beam weapons. Yeah. This technology has a number of potential applications. I'm sure the science team is eager to begin. I'll notify you as soon as we have something significant to report. That's her way of saying, don't expect anything tomorrow. Uh, we'll get more scientists, though. Like, the next time I get to choose rewards for a mission, I will probably just straight up go for uh, scientists. Um, okay, so... It's good that that happened. Next event is a satellite in two days. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Nice. Well, no sense waiting around on that. Council report is almost here. Russia needs to calm down. And we get a bonus of a scientist per month. Now that is going to be nice on its own. Two engineers is nice. But I think, yeah, we're going Russia. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. Yep. Yeah. And we'll have the satellite over Russia in time for the council report. We'll have a ship there. We'll have everything sorted out. <clears throat> Aircraft transfer complete. Nice. Satellite coverage now of incoming Satellite? transmission, oh Russia. All right. We are Council extremely report. impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations, and that is not a statement this Council makes lightly. 
The council's feeling real good about us. We earned three hundred and twenty-five dollars and another scientist and an engineer. I forgot that you get those monthly too. Not bad. There's lots in the yellow, but as long as we just keep them in the yellow, then I think we're gonna be we're gonna be okay. <clears throat> Here's hoping anyway. Also, the future combat bonus is really gonna help us when we get our officer training school. Remember, we will be watching. Yeah. So, two hundred and twenty dollars total to spend. That's not bad. No clear connection between. Now, Russian pop singers. Aha! Alleged alien invaders. People think the aliens are really invading. Bunch of freaking whack jobs, you ask me. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. From what little I've seen of their technology, if the aliens were intent on conquering Earth, there's not much we could do to stop them. I'm guessing they have something else in mind. Yeah. We're gonna need power generation facilities, so better excavate that. Because the thing that gets me is we now have enough for a satellite uplink. We will also need power generators. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Oh, we just have lots of things that will be nice, although I think the general rule of never stop building satellites does apply here. We need to have at least one building at all times to manage our global panic levels. Commander, our current satellite uplink yeah, facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. Ah, uh, just get her built. Okay, we got him from like 200 to 150 already. And we will, and we can expect to improve on that time even more. When will the workshop complete? 10 days? Then 20 days? Ah, uh, see. We could save even more money by buying it later, but it wouldn't get here this month. But will the uplink get here this month? Efficiency. I don't know how efficiency is. Uh, I don't really have a better place for the Raven to like be. Okay. Uh, yeah, I definitely think. With the end of the month, I'm going to end out the session here. Next time, April in the Great Invasion. And stuff will be happening. So, uh, stuff's good. See you then.